The front drive shaft, green arrow, connects the transfer case, red arrow, to the front differential, yellow arrow. The front drive shaft can be removed without removing the exhaust or other major components. However, access to the torque fasteners is tight and they strip easily due to being installed with Loctite. I prefer to get the exhaust front pipe out of the way. If you want to remove the front exhaust pipe, please see our tech article and video on exhaust system replacing by following the link provided at the end of this video. Follow the steps needed to remove only the right side front exhaust pipe. Next, working at the center of the vehicle, the center exhaust port has to be removed. Start by loosening the four 12mm nuts, red arrows, then remove the two 13mm fasteners, green arrows. Then remove the insulator plate from the vehicle, yellow arrow. If you are replacing the drive shaft with the exhaust installed, remove the entire right side support. Just remove the 12mm nuts, then the support. If you remove the right side front exhaust pipe, the next step is to remove the heat shield. Start by removing the E12 torque fasteners, green arrow. The insert photo shows a better view. There is only one to remove. Then remove the two 10mm heat shield fasteners, red arrows. Remove the heat shield from the vehicle. The yellow arrows point to the marks I made on the drive shaft in differential flange. Before removing, note the position and be sure to install it with the drive shaft and differential flange in the same position. Remove the four T50 torque fasteners, red arrows. I like to either remove them at the bottom position, then rotate the drive shaft by hand, or at the top corner, shown with the ratchet in place. Next, mark the drive shaft in differential flange. Before removing, note the position and be sure to install it with the drive shaft in differential flange in the same position. Remove the four T50 torque fasteners. The red arrow shows one removed. The yellow arrow shows one in place. These have to be removed at the bottom position. With the drive shaft removed, you can inspect the joints for stiffness. Insert. To install the new drive shaft, align the marks from removal and install the fasteners finger tight. Once aligned and in place, tighten the fasteners in a crisscross pattern. Be sure to use new micro-encapsulated fasteners or coat the old fastener threads with a blue Loctite. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.